Welcome back to the C Sharp tutorial. Kevin back again. I hope that those of you proactive learners took a look at this console dot blah thing that we had earlier. Remember, remember how Visual Studio was attempting to fill in everything that we were trying to do? We still have the Welcome to C Sharp project open. We're going to change this around a little bit. Before we start playing around with this, hold Control and press F5. This will run the shortcut that will compile and run the program. There's a couple of key things I want you to take a look at before we play with this. Look at this up here where the, uh, where the title of the command prompt that says C Windows System 32 blah 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 blah. And then down here we notice that we have the black console color along with the white text. Which is usually pretty standard with, uh, with console applications. The great thing about the .NET classes is we actually have the ability to change these sorts of things. So I'm going to close the output window down here because we don't really need it. And this creates some space above the console.writeline command that we had a moment ago. So type this in. We're going to type in console. And then when I push the period, look at how I have all these different options. The option that we're going to select is title. So if we scroll down here to title and we double click, we have console.title. And this is going to equal, and we'll put two quotations and we'll end it with a semicolon. Inside console.title, we're going to write wibbit net tutorial. So inside this now, and I'm going to do it visually this time, debug, start without debugging or control F5, compile and execute the program. Look at the top here. Now it says wibbit.net tutorial. So we have the ability to change things like that. So then we'll press any key to continue and then we'll continue messing with this. So now what we can do is check this out. We can do console dot and if I type in F, it's going to take me directly to this foreground color option. So if I, if I select this, what I'm actually doing now is I'm making it so that the foreground color variable that's stored within this instance of the console class, I'm going to change this value to equal something else that I want. So why don't we do this? We'll do equal. And the second I do equal in space, you'll notice that I have a, a whole list of options that I can do. So here, actually, the one that's selected, is console color. So if I double click on this, I have console color. And if I push the period button, now I'm going to be able to get to the submembers of this function. And inside the console color class, in here I have a whole lot of different colors that I can select. So I'm, I'm going to select, what's a good color? Let's select red. And then we're going to end this with a semicolon. So let's do it again. Debug. Execute and run the program. Now, look at this. We have red text. <laughs> so there's one other thing that I want to do, and this is just for my own amusement. Let's change the background color. Why not? Background color equals console, console color dot green. So now I'm going to change the background to green. Now it's not going to change the entire background of the console window. Hold control and press F5. We can see that it's going to highlight the, the particular text that we have. So I'm going to select enter. And then right below this last line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these two colors and paste them below. So now I'm going to change these colors back so that the press any key to continue that comes up at the end of our application is not going to be a different color foreground color white background color black hold control press F5 take a look at this now everything is back to normal so before we continue file and then slide down here to where it says save all so now our entire project is saved practice coding this we're gonna come back and we're gonna do some more C sharp